there want to play? <laughs> Hey, get out of the shirt. <laughs> Come on. All right, guys and girls, new merch is now available. Look at these things. So cool. All hand tie dyed. Vintage Screen Stars Best shirts. Single stitch. There's only 45 of them. We did a super limited release because they're true vintage t shirts. And it's our dogs. Look, it's Mochi and Zero and Lychee. Rest in peace, Lychee. Aww. But yeah. Super cool. The designs are awesome. Everyone is different. So there's like spirals and there's also, this is one of my favorites. Look, it's like a marble design. Yeah. Really cool. Love that. So the tees are up on the website now. If you want to go grab one, there's only 45 available. Each one is hand dyed and unique. Thank you again to Ink Lakeland for helping us print these t-shirts. And thank you again to the tie guy for helping us tie dye them. There's a car coming. I'm going to die. Like start watching on eBay for lots of vintage shirts that are white and oh. gray. I don't know what team Lilco is, but it's on an old jerseys tag. Ooh. And it's got a cool power in every step. That's cool. Maybe it's like a power company or something. Like, like a, a local thing? I don't know, the shoe logo. It kind of throws Weird. me off though. Okay. That's mm. a cool graphic though. It's only two doll hairs. Get it. Get it. Allie goes, you're gonna buy this one, right? <laughs> Duh. Oh my Whoa. god. And you Ryan just pulled just that freaks out. He was like three shirts away from it, but I found it. That's what matters. That's sick. It counts. I found it. I found it. See that? Make vintage tees, find vintage tees. <laughs> yeah. Who is it? That's cool. So I can buy those glasses then. Yeah. You deserve to glasses. buy those glasses. Though. I earned it. That's Go get those glasses. I earned it. Nice find. Go me. Good job, babe. Mm. Is that a legit Home Alone poster? It looks like it. Is there a date? I'm trying to find one. I don't see a date. I kind of want to open it. I feel like it was that one. Remember the Walmart racks where you'd flip through the posters? Oh. Yeah. I forgot about them. Mm -hmm. They don't do that anymore, do they? I could probably take the back off and do see. Do it. Don't rip it. There's no like date or anything. No, it looks, like, it looks like it was like cut out. Oh, um, like they printed it themselves. It does kind of look like that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's not yeah. a legit poster. Dang. Close. That's too bad. It's still cool. But yeah, it is still cool. It's all cut over here. Yeah. Dang. Oh, well. Someone printed that out of FedEx or something. Yeah, I know. Nike boots. Oh, jeez. That says $50. $50 hairs. Yeah. That's... It's too much money. Those are nice Nike combat boots, huh? Damn, 50. Too much. Yeah, not for that amount. Pretty cool find on these Nike Zoom X Vapor Fly shoes. They only want $5 for them, and I think we could clean them up and sell them for maybe $80 to $100. They are a small size. They're only a five and a half, but they're nice. Do you ever guys I can't I kind of just like, because I just graduated school, mm -hmm. you know, I'm kind of just like... I found this Sylvester. Whoa. 1998. He is $3.98. Kind of cool. Hey, Callie, can you whistle? <laughs> Susie, do you know how to whistle? Just put your lips together and blow. <laughs> Click. Click. <laughs> oh my god, it's Forever 21. That's hilarious. That vintage. <laughs> Forever 21 vintage. Because remember they started doing all like the repros? Mm. With the Hurricane Elsa coming in, we had to stop oh, and get some sandbags so we could protect our property. I think we should just make like a circle, semicircle around the door. Yeah. This is pretty much the only area we have to worry about. Yeah. But thank you for everybody who reached out. It ended up just being a little storm, nothing major, and no damage to our property. Um, going to Goodwill. This Goodwill opens up right at 10, so I figured uh, let's hit it early, see if there's anything good in here. Found this pair of Noble shoes. These are really cool. I've actually never seen this model before. I think it's a newer model. They're Noble like knitted runners. So I think they're probably worth like 75, 80 bucks. And then I am gonna take a shot on this Pendleton Pearl Snap t-shirts. It's expensive, it's $17, but it is brand new with tags 
and I still think that we can get some decent money for it. So I'll take a shot on it and hopefully it sells for enough money where we can make a decent little profit on it. And then for $8, I'm also gonna take a shot on these New Balance 327 shoes. They're in decent condition. I'm gonna have to clean them up a little bit, but I still think we can probably get like 60 bucks for them. All right, so some, some decent pickups at the thrift store. Noble shoes, really, really good ones. Uh, the brand new with Tags Pendleton shirt and the New Balance shoes. So three really good items and I didn't spend too much money. So I figured I'm, I'm back at our warehouse now. So I figured let's run in there and I'll show you how we get these items listed. So when it comes to prepping shoes for resale, uh, we do like to clean them up if there's enough profit in the shoes. Sometimes like if they're not in, in terrible condition, we'll just leave them as is. But a pair of shoes like this where it's very simple to clean the white soles up a little bit, we will give them some love. So the first thing I do obviously is remove the price tags, the price stickers. And then our Goodwills, I'm not sure if it's the same in your area, but our Goodwills don't just have the, the price stickers. They also mark in Sharpie on the bottom of the shoes with the price. So usually what we'll do is take this product here, Goo Gone, and on the rubber soles, most of the time it does a pretty good job to get that price tag off. So, so Goo Gone on a paper towel. I don't know if you can see the price on the bottom there, but let's give it a little bit of a rub. You can see, it comes right off with the Goo Gone. There's a little price over here too. Yeah, so that came, literally came right off. Um, so now we don't have to worry about that price being on there. Let's check the other one. I, I think it was only on the one shoe there. Yeah. And then as far as the soles go, obviously you can see these ones are a bit dirty. Um, so what we do is we use one of these. Um, this is not a Mr. Clean one. You can use Mr. Clean magic erasers if you want, but we get these from the dollar store because they're a dollar. Um, <laughs> so they're cheaper and they're, they're pretty much the same thing. So you just take the magic eraser and you get it damp, bring it out. And then um, it works. It works. I find it works the best on white soles. So you just give it a wipe. Let's see if I can show it up close here. So you just wipe the soles down. And like I said, we're not the type of people to spend, you know, 20, 30 minutes cleaning a pair of shoes. We just want to get it to the point where it looks nice. It looks, you know, maybe nicer than some of the other ones listed. Time is obviously valuable and we don't want to spend hours and hours cleaning shoes. Um, but you can definitely see that it's doing a good job. So I'll just give the soles a nice little wipe down, get them back to a good bright white or bright enough white. And then these will go over to our um, photography area and Callie will take pictures of them. All right, back to the thrift store, gonna pop into this Goodwill. I found a pair of OnCloud shoes, really good brand, but these ones were beat up, unfortunately. Another great brand to always look out for, Hoka One One. Unfortunately, this pair was $12 and the toe was completely messed up. So huge hole in the toe. So condition is everything when it comes to running shoes. I did find this really cool pair of Cole Haan Zero Grand flip flops, which I am going to keep for myself. And then a couple cool vintage t-shirts, the size large Mickey Ink shirt, perfect for the 4th of July, American flag, and a little hit on the back as well. Just a really nice, clean, vintage Mickey T. And then one of my favorite tags, Screen Stars. This is a Euro Screen Stars tag. This one is a Venezia Italia shirt with the uh, La Gondola on it. It's just a really cool graphics, like painted. It's, it's a nice shirt. And then I was looking through the electronic section. This was only $4 for this really cool Microsoft folding keyboard. And I looked up comps, comps look great on it. So I'm definitely gonna buy it. I did open it up to make sure it was good to go and it looks like it's pretty much unused. So I'm gonna pick it up and it should sell for a decent profit. It's a women's large. Eight bucks. I love the old anorak pocket jackets. It's the best. Having a pocket? Cool colors on that one. For your water. <laughs> <laughs> I found this North Face Goose Down jacket. Pretty nice, they want $25 for it. And then I found this 600 series that is, what's 25% of 50? 3750. So it'd be 3750, size medium. I found this section of like super high-end stuff. 
it's all new with tags. They want a lot of money for it though. Yeah, but I feel like I saw this stuff last time I was here. $85, look at the retail on these things. Yeah, but I looked this up. I know, I already looked at it. It was up. like sketchy. Yeah, look, Dairy, three ninety five retail. They want $200 for it. Yeah. There was the Michael Kors, two ninety five dollars retail. So they want a lot of money for it, so we're not gonna buy any of it. It was just cool to find this like little hit of designer. You do have to watch your margins when it comes to TI calculators, but this one's $13 and I still feel like it should be a decent flip. We don't really buy the TI 83s anymore, but this one is a TI 84 plus and make sure to check the battery compartment to make sure it's clean. This one's in great condition, so it should flip pretty quick for us. The Gucci sweater. I don't think it's fake. Gucci? Gucci it feels sweater. like a Gucci sweater. Produced okay. by Zama Sport for Gucci. That's weird. Kind of don't think it's fake. Huh. But I don't know. I had to show big. you this. Yeah, okay, so this is here. Still. Right? But then look oh, what I found. Oh my god. <laughs> look, we can go clubbing together. Oh. Or you can wear it underneath. Definitely wear it underneath. Or right? over. <laughs> or over. Is it the same company? No, different. No, it's not. <laughs> yeah, it's the exact same pattern, but... It's is... the same fabric. Yeah. Isn't that hilarious? Look at that set. That... Oh. Yes. But then also, I found this. It's half off of 75. Give it, yeah. give it to me. Look, oh, nice wow. little Lululemon, like... Dang. What'd you call that? A uh, vest? What'd you call that a vest? Mm. I think that'd still be a vest. It's like an overcoat. It's like an open front Over vest. tied vest. It's nice. Feel it. It's really good quality. Oh my god, that's so nice. Yeah. So that would only be like 35 bucks. Hmm. It's a size 6. You stay finding these. 46? $46? I mean, what? I like that it's, the whole thing is in the shape of, what is this, an acorn? Acorn? Yeah, they're acorns, yeah. yeah. But that's crazy, like, look. What brand is it? Sold for? That one's a Nordic Wear, which is sold at Williams Sonoma. This but I didn't Nordic know wear? this was Nordic Wear because it wasn't marked, but I accidentally saw it whenever I was looking up this one. Mm. I saw it down here and I was like, oh, it's, the same it's thing. right next to it. It's funny. But I got to look at the listed also. True. Brand new Thomas's. Is that 19? 20 bucks. But is that good? There's no Goodwill tag in it. But they usually write on the bottom as well. Yeah, that makes sense. I mean, brand new. I could see them asking 20 bucks. Oh my God. I don't see the attachments for it, but oh. Whoa. you know about this brand, Salad Master? Oh, you told me about this before. Really good. I mean, it's only $6 for both pieces, but it doesn't have the little, there's like little grinder attachments. Yeah, it's definitely like if it had everything with it, it's definitely over a hundred bucks. But, what? Yeah. But not without it. I don't think so. You know what's funny, babe? Like these Air Max shoes that I got, right? The boutique section. Oh my gosh. Why? That's literally the, the exact same shoe. <laughs> I wonder how much they're asking. This was a new to me brand. I'd never seen it before, but it felt like good quality. So I decided to look it up and it was $7, but I decided to Look it up and I'll, I'll post some comps on the screen so you guys can see, but this is definitely a new Bolo brand to keep an eye out for because the comps look like they're between 50 to $70 used for these polos. All right, guys and girls, I think that this is where we're gonna end the video. Yes. Thank you so much for watching, we appreciate it. Shout out again to Inc. Lakeland, they did a great job. An amazing job and they were super courteous about allowing us to film, so that was cool. Yeah, and yeah. shout out to Callie for helping film everything. Hey, thanks yeah. for letting me come on a field trip. Of course. Field and, trip. And shout out to you guys for all of your support, we appreciate it. Whether you buy something from us or not, we love you guys. You can support us just by hitting the thumbs up button and subscribing. And shout out to you for making a video. Oh, yeah. yeah. Hey Thanks, guys and girls. We'll see you next Friday at 7 p.m. Eastern. Later.